is like the fifth time I'm making this, but hi guys, all about Briars here. This is a haul from the Western Horse Expo that I went to a, like two weeks ago. So I'm really late at doing this, but I finally got around to it. So I'm going to show you the horses I got. I did this on my phone before, but I had tilted it so it didn't come out right. But yeah, now I'm going to show you. I rearranged my shelves once again, so I'm sorry. But now I'm going to get to it. I got ten horses total. Wow, you got a close-up of that guy. Anyway, I'm going to start with the stable meats. I got this cute little guy. He's a 2005 stable meat. From, I got him from Thrifty for four bucks. Four dollars, and he's so cute. And he just has a little eye rub and then a little shoulder rub. I wish I could show him, but I can't because he's got those rubs. But I named him Spot Meow. And then this guy is, like, adorable. I love this guy so much. This is limitless. He is a older stable meat that is LSQ. He has wonderful shading. Look at that shading. He's just so, so pretty. Okay, put him back up with my little mini conga. I also got a bunch of magazines, but I'm going to show you this one. I got a dealer's catalog because the Briar Rep gave it to me, and I'm like, yay! She also gave me in Briar Lover 5000. We went shopping all day together on um, Saturday, so that was fun. She, all, The Briar Rep also gave me and Alyssa a brand new Briar Schleck, not Briar Schleck, a Arabian Schleck. Oh my god, I can't talk. I love this guy. I named him High in Pride. He's like, was like brand new. He was in the um, wrapping and everything. He is LSQ, so I'm going to show him. I don't collect Schleck, but I saw this guy and I had to get him. This is Rigid Marks. I don't know what Schleck he is. I forgot. But I love his markings and his shading, so I had to get him. Then I got two foals. I got this guy who is, um, sorry, I'm trying to get used to holding my phone. I got a new phone. <laughs> and I want to tilt, I want to like move it sideways, but that would be bad. So yeah. Anyway, I love this guy. This is. Okay, I think his name's Polka Dot Meow. He's an older one. He's from 2002, but I love him. He just has a few little black marks. Otherwise, he's LSQ, and I'm definitely going to show him. I love him. I love the pinking. He has really cute pinking all over him. I also got this guy. He was only $20, so I also got this guy for $20. This is Buster's Catch. He is a 1998 run, I believe. He's really nice shading. He just has a few of those little things, which I don't know what those are. But I love his face marking. He just has a little bit of pinking on his nose. And he's in really good condition, and it's really nice shading. So I'm definitely going to show him. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have a little conga now. They're so cute. I'm going to get more on that mold. Now, the only two runs that I that were not retired I got were, was one of them was Secretariat. His base is going to sand and fall off, so I just remove it. It falls off all the time. So I really wanted this guy, so when I saw him for $40, I had to get him. He's so cute. Oh my god, I love him. Yeah, he's just gorgeous. He is worth it. He is really nice shading. He just has a little mane rub. I don't know if it'll focus. But I figured that's pretty good for him. I love him. Then I also got Sarah Monet. Oh, I named him Bring It On Home. And this guy is, o this girl is O.T. Ayer Bay. She's so cute. I love her shading. She's just really dusty, but she has wonderful shading. I love her tail. I love everything about her. I also have another little mini Congo, so that's awesome. Now, I got two other vintages. One of them was this guy. He's a Clydesdale from 1997. He is really awesome shading for a vintage. Like, look at that. And he's in pretty good condition, despite the two little rubs on his offside. I'm definitely going to try and show him. He does have really uncrisp markings, but for a vintage, I think that's pretty good. Then I got this guy, who's probably my favorite. I got the Missouri Fox Trotter for $40, and he has great shading. I don't know if you can quite see it as well as I can. But in person, it's much better. He is just stunning. I really recommend him. If you see him for sale, get him. I named him M.O. Hot Trot. And wow, he is so worth it. I'm so glad I got this guy. Like, I was debating whether or not to get a Clydesdale or him. 
So I just decided to get him, and he is so pretty. I'm definitely going to show him. I think I can show all of them except for that one little stable mate. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time at the Ho Horse Expo. I hope to go again next year. I did proxy show that weekend. I was not able to go. Someone took my horses for me. So I will make the results video as soon as I get all the ribbons out to the horses. I just haven't, I don't want to yet. They're sitting in a corner over there in a box. I just don't want to get them out yet. And I also found the rosettes to printing the printing ponies um, spring edition. So that's good. I'm so happy. I'll show you all the rosettes from there. I'll probably show you all the horses that got rosettes from that show in a separate video. But anyway, thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Bye. And again, sorry for the quality. It's on my phone.